What's going on YouTube? Today I want to showcase a great emergent mechanic in Skyrim using telekinesis to fly. If you want to learn more about the lore and mechanic of Skyrim and other games, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notifications button. Up and away we go. So what do we need to fly? We need to simply get a large bucket which has a handle that you can find in the open air stable at Catla's farm outside Solitude. Next, acquire a guard shield. The guard shield is necessary because it has a flat surface. We want the shield to connect smoothly and level with the bucket. We want it flat on the floor. This ensures a stable, lasting flight. Even if you try getting an angled flight by standing slightly ahead of the shield and bucket, you don't want a curving, indented shield which can slide out from under the bucket. You can get a white run shield after fighting the first dragon, Mermelnir. So to reiterate, guard shield, big handled bucket. You also want telekinesis in a way to reduce magicka costs to zero. There are four ways to do this. 1. Maximize enchanting and make 4 25% alteration apparel. 2. Use the fortify restoration glitch to meet 100% reduction in one item. No enchanting leveling required. 3. Use the same glitch to get 1 billion magicka. Or 4. Use the secret of arcana. Secret of Arcana is a greater power Hermius Mora gives in Apocrypha. It makes spells cost zero magicka for 30 seconds. With continuous effect spells like Telekinesis, they continue to flow even after Secret of Arcana ends as long as you hold the button input. Of these, I think Secret of Arcana and Fortify Restoration are easier than maximizing your enchanting level. Now, find a place you like, use the grab mechanic to place a shield flat with its painted design facing up. The handle seamlessly no clips into the ground. Next, grab the bucket and make sure it sits upright on the shield. You want to stand on top of the bucket, look down, and try to center your character on the bucket's handle or slightly off center. You want a narrow line of sight with the shield, then dual cast telekinesis. You should quick save with the shield and bucket set up to save time if something goes wrong. Check if the ascent seems stable or progressively pitches to one side. If the latter, you can walk against the direction the bucket leans to to correct it. Your flight may be dead in the water though. If you want to AFK and reach great heights, on console you should carefully affix rubber bands to hold the spellcasting inputs in place. It's archery 100 level dexterity and you'll have to reset from the quick save to pull it off. Uh, on PC, keep pressing macros can suffice. Once in flight, you can try slowly moving your character to change the bucket shield orientation relative to you. Since telekinesis perpetually tries to pull the shield to you and pushes the bucket you're standing on in that direction, you are semi-capable of flight. If you change the angle between you and the bucket shield more than 30 degrees, it may turn sideways and end your flight. If you want somewhat horizontal flight to travel across Skyrim, it is best to set up the bucket shield on a slight incline and telekinesis the raised part of the shield. Alternatively, you may still get the angled flight you want with telekinesis in the lower part of the shield, which would balance the angle a bit. In summary, it's intuitive, but it takes spatial acclimation. I'm not the originator of this method, but I've experimented and taken it further to find its quirks and limitations. You can use the in-game menu to autosave your altitude, but quick save will lapse the inputs and make you fall. You can ascend to a point where the environmental map changes to a horizontal angle and shows you high above Skyrim. If you ascend at an angle near an invisible world barrier, you will bounce off it. If you end the flight and touch this wall, you can stand on its edge and walk along it up in the sky. At a certain point, the surface of the world disappears and day-night cycles are the only reference point. While angled flight can take you across Skyrim, I have found the horizontal movement you can do while falling is negligible. If it's possible to travel across Skyrim solely on horizontal fall distance, you would have to be ascending for real days or weeks. Aside from role-playing as a mana knot trying to reach Aetherius, one of the better parts of this glitch is seeing white gold tower without no clip or console commands. Unfortunately, they either did not put adamantia in the world space, or the distance and weather just occluded it. Going forward, I'd like to combine this with the do not delete chests that you find by clipping through Mistvale Keep. 
The chest is not gravity affected, so you can enter and exit the inventory and place it right after jumping. This is a classic strategy to stand on Azura's head. The chest would let you ascend far into the stratosphere, place it to stand on it, then you can use a Paralyze on Self potion with Whirlwind Sprint to Ragdoll all the way across Skyrim. I find Netch Jelly resets your horizontal velocity, but perhaps longer Paralyze effects would keep you flying. Ultimately, this is an impractical, tedious, and dangerous way to get around, but I could see an eccentric Nechaman Telvani on permadeath using it to traverse Skyrim, avoiding fast travel or the snow demon brigands of Lorcan. Rejoice, for once again we found a workaround for the fun police that ban levitation spells. Dragon riding doesn't count because you cannot control it and it pales in comparison to the speeds dragons fly on their own. Today you'll be putting the sky in Skyrim, exploring all its heights and depths. Bon voyage.